Closet Factory has something for everyone. In this episode, we'll show you some great Closet Factory designs done for men. That's right, fellas, we got you covered. From walk-in closets, to home offices, to garage organization systems, these are just some of the ways that we can make a space more practical and more enjoyable. First up is a new office slash guest bedroom in Steve Chamberlain and Matt Keen's house. It features a gorgeous Murphy bed. Our designer, Carol, will tell you all about it. We'll also feature the installs for Rick Greger. That designer, Tina, has done two beautiful walk-in closets and a wine closet. Let's see if this episode gives you some ideas for changing things around in your house. My name is Steve. And my name is Matt. We live in the East Ocean View area of Norfolk, Virginia. Been here for about 10 years or so, I would say. We were fortunate enough to be able to build our house here. Um, haven't done much to it up to this point, but when COVID-19 hit, we realized we needed to change our space and how we live in it. Right. Uh, up until COVID, Matt was working from home. He had a home-based business. Uh, I was going to the office every day, but of course, when, when COVID shut everything down, we got into a situation where we were both trying to share an office space and it just wasn't working the way it needed to work. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we played with the idea, you know, 10,000 different things we thought of doing with our home. Um, even as much as, you know, building a whole room on the back of the house, so that just was not going to work. So we came across Closet Factory, actually. We were able to kind of sketch out some of our ideas and thoughts that we had. We brought them to Carol. Carol came out to the house and walked through everything with us. And uh, we put a plan together, basically, to build out the space. We wanted to maximize every square inch of this large wall that divided the two rooms. Not only did it need to function as a Murphy bed, it needed to look good. It needed to look like part of an office. So we added built-ins and slide outs and filing cabinets, you know, really a, a multi-purpose room, a multi-purpose unit. And we wanted to have fun with the finishes that we chose with it as well. So we went two-tone. We looked around everywhere at all different providers of who could do this type of service for us but no one was able to really customize it the way we wanted it to be like Closet Factory. No one really had the amount of finishes, the two-tone finish that we wanted. Um, no one could get it 100%, I guess. When Carol came and she walked through and showed us what she could do to it, it was really exciting because yeah. Um, we finally started to kind of see the vision coming together. We're like, we're not crazy. This is actually something we can do. We followed up with a visit to the showroom and that helped a lot. Not only were we able to see everything you guys could do, but we were able to pull down a bed and it's surprisingly light. Um, it really helped us make our final decision. Yeah, and that's where we were able to look at some of the other finishes. Yeah. Um, that Carol didn't necessarily have with her on the day that she came out. Um, and uh, I'm glad we did, because ultimately we picked finishes that they had in the showroom that we didn't even know were available. Yeah, it was exciting to see it on a larger scale, you know? Um, and uh, even the, down to the hardware that we chose was kind of particular and special. And what was great is after initially meeting with her at the house, walking through the space upstairs, she came down here and in a short time, she had the whole space laid out in 3D for us. So we were able to actually see what the selections we made here looked like in a computer model um, at the kitchen table. And it was just a matter of going to the showroom to see everything else and waiting for it to arrive. And she was able to suggest uh, some pretty neat features. Like we knew we wanted drawers. Yeah. 
Um, but one of the drawers she turned into a filing drawer, which was great because the space has to double as an office. Um, there's a, a little pull out area that uh, if you're if you're laying on the Murphy bed, it'll pull out kind of like a nightstand. Uh, and she even suggested we put some grommets in several of the shelves so that we could run wiring, um, electrical wiring, if we wanted to put any types of lamps or a TV on one of the shelves. Or, like just, or, or, or just a guest want to plug in their phone. It's yeah. not across the room. We wanted to make sure everything was adjustable. So this was a piece that could grow with us as we grow in the home. Um, we collect a lot of different things too, a lot of things when we travel. So we never know what we're gonna bring home from an adventure. Um, so the shelves, being able to change them and add new things, you know, that was important to us. It was, and we wanted to make sure that the space uh, felt like a real room yeah. uh, when guests came, that, you know, it wasn't just a temporary thing. So we added a headboard to the bed uh, and we added a kind of a cool mural above the bed so that when our guests come, um, they know that they're in Norfolk and, uh, you know, we want them to have a good time while they're here. We love vintage things and there's something about Ocean View being vintage, if you know anything about it, and the roller coaster. So what we had was a large graphic printed from an old postcard, and we used that um, above the headboard to really fill out the space to welcome people. But when we're not using it as a guest room for our friends and family who take advantage of us living at the beach, we can just close it up and it's an everyday room for us. Um, and it made it work and function so much better because form and function is what I'm all about. <laughs> and this is something that not only meets function, but the form is fantastic too. Yeah. everyone, I'm Carol, a senior designer at Closet Factory, and I'm here to tell you about an office suite that we worked on in Norfolk in the area of Hampton Roads uh, for a couple with um, needs for a dedicated home office. They had the classic guest space, full bedroom set, uh, just wasn't useful, especially with the pandemic. They had a, a typical small desk jammed into a corner. So they saw our ads for the Murphy beds and knew that would work uh, well for them. So after meeting with the two uh, in the space, it was determined where the uh, Queen Murphy bed really had to go on the larger wall uh, opposite the window wall. Um, we, we talked about uh, what else I could fit in the space for them, which was some, were some much needed uh, file systems. Uh, I created some large uh, lateral uh, filing in some drawers. We put everything behind doors. They didn't want to see any mess and clutter, so it worked out great. Uh, and then from there, uh, I went to their uh, kitchen uh, dining space and sat right there and uh, designed this full system right on the spot for them. Uh, did a complete 3D mark mock-up. They were thrilled because with that, um, they could uh, be part of the whole design system. Uh, I really incorporated what they were looking for, what they told me they needed, uh, but it was so fun for them to see it and, uh, and and we were able to tweak it together. Uh, we decided sizes, uh, doors, drawers, uh, and uh, right there on the spot, they had a system. One other thing in uh, discussing what their options could be and uh, sitting and doing my CAD design, I let them know that um, while they do have guests there in bed, they had these closed cabinets and drawers and um, they were concerned, you know, for a place for uh, their guests to put a glass of water, uh, cell phone, uh, recharging, what have you. So we have these wonderful pull-out trays. They're all, they're all made out of the exact same material. So I had a bank of drawers, their file systems. You saw this three-quarter sliver of material, but we put those on drawer glides and they pull it out and there's a shelf. There's their nightstand uh, for their guests to use. So none of the cabinets ever have to open. The guests can just pull out this shelf and use it. And uh, 
they're, they're just so thrilled with it. Uh, finally, they did take a trip uh, the next day into our showroom uh, because they wanted to really see and um, use some of our larger samples and decide on finish options. Uh, and they decided a two-tone system. So they used our uh, fabulous Chill which is really a nice, uh, slightly variegated soft white. They uh, also used our Sable Glow, which happens to tie into uh, their existing espresso tone uh, office uh, desks and shelving. And uh, so it all worked out great. The two did, did need to keep their uh, guest space, being literally walking distance to the bay and uh, beach areas. So. Uh, with that said, they have lots of company, lots of guests. So they've got that covered now with their fabulous Murphy bed, but 90% uh, of the time they're using their office space, which is exactly what they needed. We did some unique things on a Murphy bed that I think really make it stand out. Um, one thing that was really important to us is a headboard. Even this, this little guy in this little ledge, a place to put a glass of water or rest your cell phone at night or a light, anything like that is important when you're staying somewhere and it was to us. Um, another neat thing about this whole unit on this side is that all of the bedding is designed to stay right up there. So all of the pillows, the sheets, shams. And, and we made sure that it goes all the way to the ceiling. We wanted uh, the unit to make to go all the way up so that it looked like it was actually built in and not just a afterthought in the room. Or, or some after piece of furniture that was bought, some like aftermarket piece of furniture. We wanted it to look like it was literally in the room. Um, I really like that we did the two-tone shelves because it really makes it pop and stick out. And these all operate independently. So we can change the way this looks. I like to change things up every now and again, so um, I will probably definitely be doing that. Another unique thing for our guests is this shelf right here. And this is something that Carol helped us out with a lot. Uh, we didn't even think about it actually, but this allows you to lay in bed and pull it out and again, your phone, computer, glass of water, whatever you need to put on your bedside, it instantly converts to a bedside table. And then the, the three shelves that we have provide, you know, great storage for us. Uh, that we can keep office supplies in and those types of things. The bottom drawer is actually set up to function like a filing cabinet, which is really neat. Uh, we can keep you know files in there uh, when we're using the unit as an office. It is an office, so exactly. Um, and then over here we did some deep storage. It's hard to see, but this is actually 18 inches in depth. So, you know, that's a foot and a half of deep long-term storage, which really, really, really helps. Another great thing that this Murphy bed does is it actually add, works as an insulator from the other room. So if Steve's in here working, the depth and everything we have on the shelf actually helps soften the noise when he's on a Zoom call or I'm on a Zoom call, something like that. And so we decided that we were also gonna add a mural above the headboard because we wanted people when they came to visit us uh, to feel like they were kind of on vacation and they could relax and have a good time. And we found this vintage postcard of Ocean View with the iconic roller coaster on it. Um, and we think it just adds a, a, a neat, fun touch to the room. Yeah, I think cause it's colorful and um just different it's not what is expected and we're very proud of where we live and we love where we live so we kind of want to show that off a little bit and it's this unexpected thing that you're not thinking is going to be there when you bring down the bed so that's kind of cool yeah and our dog loves it apparently <laughs> From Ocean View in Norfolk, we head up the beautiful eastern shore to another water view in Franktown. Let's meet Rick Greger and see what we did to help him turn his outdated house into a modern lakefront home. 
So Tina really loved working on Rick Greger's project. She loves design in general, but this one was special. To take an outdated house and really turn it into this modern masterpiece, she and Rick did a fabulous job coming up with designs. So it started with the closets. It was built 50 years ago and people didn't have the same amount of things that we do now and it just wasn't gonna work. It had the one rod and that was it. Mm -mm. So Tina went to work, took an inventory of Rick's belongings to make sure that everything was had a home in that closet and then added space to it, of course, because people shop, right? So the closets turn out wonderfully and they will serve Rick well for the rest of the time he's in that house. I think he really likes them. But what's really near and dear to his heart is his wine collection. Because we actually manufacture everything that we design and install, we can take a hall closet, for example, and turn it into a wine collection storage closet. I think that's what made the big difference in Rick's house. Rick Greger. Uh, we're in beautiful Franktown on the eastern shore of Virginia. Uh, this is a new house to me. I just bought it and started remodeling it uh, the last two months. About 90% of the way done. Got uh, probably the end of this month till we complete everything. Uh, we're on the water here up at Nassawatix Creek and Warehouse Creek where they meet right off the uh, Chesapeake Bay and the section is called Bayford. The house was built in the late 1970s and Everything in it was still in the 1970s. It was uh, red and blue wallpaper, red kitchen counters, real dark hardwood floors, colonial blue painted trim. And so it was a great house, great bones, but just needed to be updating. I've uh, remodeled about 80 houses over the last 30 some years. And so I uh, enjoy the challenge. So we basically cosmetically have redone the whole inside. And next spring, I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole outside. Anyway, when I came in the door, I saw the coat closet was uh, about 12 feet long, and I said, well, this is a very large coat closet. What else can we use it for? And it was so large, they actually had their Christmas tree in it from the uh, previous owner. But uh, I started thinking about, uh, I needed some wine storage. I had a basement in my last house, and I had wine racks down there. This house obviously didn't have a basement. It's a ranch, and uh, just on a small crawl space. So I said, well, maybe we can do some kind of wine system. So Tina Ormsby at the Closet Factory was a friend of mine. And I said, have you guys ever done a wine cabinet or wine storage racks in a closet? She said, no, but we sure can. We have the uh, materials and the uh, you know things to use to build those. And we've built them before. They've just never been in a closet. So that's what we did. We came up with a plan to uh, get something designed out. It holds about 175 bottles of wine, give or take. Um, we've got a little bit of everything. We've got a local winery up here that I'm a member of the wine club there, the Sanctuary Winery, or the Carolina line I'm a member of. We do a Virginia wine tour once a year. So when I have friends and family, a lot of times what we'll do is have some wine, do different tastings and whatnot. So we took about half or a little bit more of the closet and made it into wine storage. The other half still a coat closet plenty of room for both and uh, it came out great. It's a nice little unique feature and one of the first things I show anyone that comes in to look at the new remodel. closet itself was already uh, lit up and the uh, units that the uh, closet factory put in have lighting in them also. So it's really nice, you can see everything. Uh, to the right, we have the uh, stackable system where the bottles lay down on their sides, keep the corks moist. And then the middle system has the triangular shaped uh, wine storage containers that you see in restaurants and stuff often. And then there's a wine serving area. There's a little drawer to store wine openers and those type of things. Uh, it's just a great system. It fits in. It's a regular depth closet. The closet's only a regular 30 inch depth closet. Uh, and I like those guys so much. They had done my last house. So this is the second house they did for me. The last house we had done a whole dressing room, my master closet, and this house they did my master closets also and then did the wine closet with the uh, storage closet. The closets were just your traditional two and a half by six foot closet with a single rod and shelf above and obviously that doesn't do much for uh, using all the available square footage. So Tina Ornsby and I 
worked back and forth to get a uh, uh, design that would fit my lifestyle. One of them we divided into four sections. So you got four clothes hanging areas with multiple shelves above. The other one we took and built a dresser in with then a large clothes hanging area and then shoe racks throughout and again the shelves above. Also have uh, tie racks, uh, hangers for loose clothing and belt holders that are slide attachments to the uh, closet systems. We did look at the uh, different available styles, different available uh, colors and those type of things. Uh, there are some uh, variations, of course, of what you want to do. Mine are just a off-white uh, color. Uh, the inside of the closets throughout the house, I just painted white, so it kind of goes along with that. They give you a full set of uh, 3D drawings um, to work with, and we sat down at the, her office initially to go over those, and then we sat down one more time to tweak them at the end. But they're, they're highly recommended and easy to work with. Came in and do a great job guys came in and did the work they were in and out of here in a day nice clean neat fast and efficient did a great job it's very difficult in the renovation and remodeling trades to find people that do what they say they're going to do get it done when they say they're going to get it done and deliver a good quality product and close the factory always does that they've done it for me in the past they've done it to anyone i've referred out to them so they're just super easy to work with it's very seamless Every, every inch of the uh, step and direction that you go is easy to do with them. Thanks for joining us. We hope you saw something in this episode that inspired you. We can put a wine closet anywhere you need it. We'd love to talk to you and see how we can make your home space work better for you.